What's going on this week in Nerf? Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana, and this week we have a huge blaster release and a ton of different availability updates. So let's talk about it. Just in case you were living under a rock, the Dart Zone Pro Mark III is here, available. You can purchase it now. Uh, and in case somehow you managed to miss it, uh, here's some details. It has 16 gauge wire and an XT60 in the battery box, just stock. It comes like that to you, which is amazing. Uh, it can take a 3S LiPo, no problem. It's a select fire blaster and the pusher operates mechanically, kind of like a strife when it's in semi-auto, but when you switch it over to full auto, it is entirely motorized. It's both full and half length compatible with no modding required, just an adapter. And uh, reviews for this thing have been all over the place, which is why I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it yet. And we did one as well, so you should click somewhere to, uh, to go watch it. We'll still be here when you get back. Uh, the Verge reporter Sean Hollister also did a long form in-depth review of the blaster, which is really cool to see our hobby getting more high profile representation. Uh, and Out of Darts has put out a ton of uh, accessories and upgrades like uh, side rails, buffer tube, sling mounts, stay break compatible cage, shorter muzzle piece, replacement mag releases. It, <laughs> it's a lot. But there were also a couple of problems with the blaster. Uh, Hollister found that the Mark III serrated wheels tore up his darts a little bit. Uh, I didn't experience that problem, but he, he did. Uh, and lots of reviewers, ourselves included, had uh, some trouble feeding the blaster with Talon magazines. And Drac tried to upgrade his pusher motor and snapped the linkage gear. However, these problems do come with solutions. Uh, we found that fixing the feed issue with talons was as simple as cutting away some of the plastic on the pusher guide, um, but other designers have been doing some 3D printed solutions for this. Uh, Out of Darts is selling a $2 um, insert for the mag adapter that should prevent the pusher from dragging darts backwards out of the mag as well. Uh, Haphazardly Named published a replacement pusher uh, for free on Thingiverse that should also fix that issue. Uh, and as far as the lever snapping goes, Out of Dart printed a strong pusher available for $2 that should be able to handle the high torque of hobby powered motors. And it's overall a pretty cool blaster and it's available for $129.99 at Target.com. And currently there's a coupon for $25 off $100 in toys. So just saying, $25 off of that ain't bad. We're also seeing some new blasters on the shelves this week. The Mega XL Big Rig and Boomdozer have been spotted in both the US and in Canada, along with the Mega XL Refill Pack. And now a few people have gotten their hands on Double Crushers too. Uh, the Double Crusher is a two-shot smart AR blaster with slam fire, which is amazing. Uh, and we also have internal images of this. Uh, similarly, it's got a giant plunger tube to all of the other Mega XL blasters. These things are just, they're massive. Uh, and this one has a geared prime, which I bet feels amazing, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Uh, a reskinned Alpha Strike Fang has also been spotted. It is now called the Claw QS4 on Amazon, and it's blue. Uh, so you can get that for $11.99. It's a four dart smart AR pistol. And there's also the Elite 2.0 Flip 32, uh, finally available. Uh, how long has it been since the other ones were on the shelves? A, a, a month, probably. Um, but for $62.99, you can get a flippin' 32 dart lever action thing. It, it, it's four rough cuts smashed in together with lever prime, and it's got a two-stage trigger, which is pretty neat. Uh, it gets about the same performance as the other flip shots, which isn't great. Um, but it sure does look like a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> and there's even more in availability news. The Fortnite Heavy SR is also available on Amazon. For $52.99, you can get the longest Fortnite blaster yet. This one shoots mega darts from a six round mag, just like Yield Centurion. 
Uh, the Dart Zone Max Accurate Darts are now available uh, as full-length versions on Target.com. Uh, it's $14.99 for a pack of 100 of those. Previously, they were only available in the half-length form at Target or packaged with the Max Striker, and these are identical to the ones that you get in the package with the Striker. Uh, time will tell if they're better or worse than the Adventure Force Pros. Uh, I mean, Dart Zone's really making tough competition with themselves. They have the three best darts you can get. I, they, and they just keep coming. They just keep coming. Uh, speaking of Dart Zone, they also announced that the Midas Touch and Urban Camo Blasters, uh, the Nexuses, will be coming to Canada very soon. Uh, these will be online exclusive to Walmart Canada. The Midas Touch is going to be $89.87 Canadian, and the Urban Camo is $76.97 Canadian. It's time for Rapid Strikes. Pew 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 pew. Pew. Designer Daniel Garcia published beta files for their Foam Hill Blaster. Uh, this is a chunky pistol that uses hurricane size wheels and custom 3D printed mags that feed horizontally lying on top of the blaster. It holds 15 rounds, uh, but it doesn't work just like the bulwark with the spinny pusher. Uh, instead, the mag dump starts into a carriage piece that rotates 90 degrees before firing. And if you want to build one, files and a list of the hardware and a detailed build guide are on Thingiverse. The USPS has temporarily suspended service to Australia. Uh, they cited COVID-19 issues, but the uh, United States Postal Service is currently not shipping first-class packages to Australia. Uh, if you're an Etsy seller or an Australian, um, take note of this and be aware, I guess. Uh, it appears that the Priority International might still be an option, but for now, it would be best to use a different carrier entirely. Foam Knight has released version 1.1 of the XC Blaster. Uh, there's been a ton of changes to make this blaster easier to print and assemble, uh, also improves some spring swapping, and makes it more structurally sound. The version 1.0 hardware is still compatible with the 1.1 prints, so no worries there, and everything that you need will be available on Thingiverse, Etsy, and FoamKnight.com. Designer and skewer aficionado Silly Butts has released Another design, the Skubo. Uh, this is a skewer that's been heavily customized to look like the classic 1995 Kenner crossbow that many modders know and love. Uh, it's based on the printable crossbow by Captain Slug, but now it's mag-fed. And uh, these are still in beta, but the files are available on Thingiverse and Silly Butts GitHub. And speaking of Captain Slug, he announced his shop may close down for a little while soon here. Uh, he's got a baby on the way, so he's planning to temporarily close or alter some lead times. So congratulations, Slug. We hope that your baby loves money as much as you do. The Nerf Limited Aliens Pulse Rifle Blaster is now up for international pre-order. So in addition to the US, the blaster can now be pre-ordered from uh, Canada, UK, France, GSA, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Russia, Turkey, Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, Slovakia, Denmark, and Sweden. <sighs> Get your aliens. And now it's time for the mod of the week. And this week it comes from Banshee Indian with Workers' Comp. This is a knockout Meeker Mark 18 with some thematic additions, and it definitely looks like an accident waiting to happen. Uh, all of the extras make it just, it just adds so much to the idea. The caution tape, it's got exposed grates and coils, bent hardware, uh, the custom battery priming handle, it just all comes together super cohesively. The fake welds were done with a 3D pen, which I've never seen before, that's so, so clever. Uh, this blaster clearly took a ton of creativity, and the execution came out so well, the idea is just so cohesive. I, I love it a lot, and thanks so much for sharing it. And that is all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I know this one was a little short, um, but I appreciate you being here anyway. Uh, if you want to click on anything that I talked about, all the links are down in the description, so you can clicky clicky click. While you're down there, like button, subscribe button, um, probably other buttons at this point with YouTube changing all the time. <laughs> I really appreciate everybody coming in every two weeks, Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific, same bat time, same bat channel, same phone time.
foam channel, that's better. Pretend I said that the first time. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now, bye, thanks for watching. <laughs> foam time, foam channel. <laughs>